Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited that you've joined me. I am sharing my Disney stroller tips and setup, so let's just jump right into it. So when we go to Disney World, we like to take our Uppa Baby Vista. That is just our personal preference, but any of these tips that I'm going to show you guys and how our setup is, you can adapt to your stroller and make it your own, whether it's a double, a single, whatever the case is. So let's jump into it. Starting out at the front of the stroller, we we love these little fans. They are an absolute necessity when you are at Disney World. They keep the girls cool. They have three different speeds, which is amazing. And then these little bendable legs, so you can put them practically anywhere. I like to put two in one direction and then one in another direction, and this thing is not going anywhere. So I know some people have a little trouble with attaching these to the stroller, but don't wrap the legs all the same direction like kind of alternate them and it holds perfect. Coming up here to our other seat that we have up top, I have our little ones fan as well. And so with same thing, it's not going anywhere. So that is great for that part of the stroller. Coming down on the side, this is one of our favorite little things. It even has a Mickey on it, so it makes it even more themed and cute, of course, but this little side saddle bag and everything I'm talking about, I will have linked in the description box so you can go down and check it out. But we love this thing. It is so perfect for getting things in and out of, and I will show you just a few of the things we have in here. We like to keep these little Mickey Mouse stroller fans in there, and I have these Secura straps on them. That way, when our toddler wants to use them, I can just hook them right onto this part of the stroller, and then she can't um, drop them and lose them. But she absolutely loved using this and it kept her extra cool. And so we have a two pack of those. So we have the yellow one and the pink one. And then I also have an extra one of these little Mickey Mouse clips. And so that I like to have an extra backup for shopping bags, sippy cups, anything that needs to be held onto. We can just attach this to the stroller here and it works like a charm and it's Mickey. So, you know, keeping with that theming. And then last but not least, other than her bubble wand that stayed in here, we have this little guy. This just links to our wrist and then the little side links to her wrist. And that was great. So she felt like she had some freedom walking around the stores and shops on Main Street and all that kind of stuff. But it helped her to not be able to just bolt. And so when we were in a little bit more crowded space and we weren't comfortable just letting her roam free because you know how toddlers are, they have a mind of their own. That really came in handy. Coming around to the back of the stroller, we just have this little hook, which we used a lot for actually hanging the diaper bag on and off of. So it was really convenient for that. If it wasn't here, it was hanging on this hook. So that works perfectly. Or if you have like cups with hooks or anything like that, you can just easily slide them on and off of that. We have Lucy's thermos and it hung there sometimes. So that worked out as well as we have this, which is great for cups, bottles, whatever you need. And it is just made of silicone and just wraps around the stroller handle. It is from Ryan and Rose, and I will have it linked to the description box, plus a coupon code for you guys if you want to check that out. And then another one of those carabiners, the little Mickey carabiners like I showed, which again, are they're great for your resort refillable mugs or shopping bags as you go through the day, whatever the case is, this thing is perfect for that or even using for your diaper bag. We have used that as well and we'll just put it on this little strap here and then just leave the carabiner on it and it's easy to put on and off of the stroller. So another great thing to have there. Moving up to the caddy, oh my goodness. This Petunia Pickle Bottom is a game changer. We used to have like just a little small one and it worked okay, but this thing was amazing. You've got two compartments over here which are great for regular sized cups. And then you have a gigantic one over here for your Venti Starbucks or whatever you get in the morning. So that is perfect, but it has lots of pockets. So that was helpful. Plus this little cube, and I'm gonna show you what we keep in that. So for this little cube, we just have a small pack of wipes, a power bank here for keeping things charged up. So we've got that at way if one of the stroller fans is going down or the little Mickey fans, we have that with us as well. Plus one of the little charging cables. I would suggest keeping more than one, but at least one for those fans and things, especially if you have more than one kit. 
Also, we kept some little disposable changing pads, disposable placemats, and bibs in there. And so that way we could easily access those if we needed to. And then over here we have some Baby Gannix little hand sanitizer, this Tide pen for any stain situations that happened, and then a little bit more hand sanitizer. This one has alcohol, this one doesn't, so it depends on your preference. So we had a little bit of both. And then some tissues if we needed those. So that was super helpful and handy. Even my husband was like, I think this is one of my favorite things on the stroller because it made everything so easy to grab. And then the last thing here at the top of the stroller where the caddy is, is our little license plate or stroller tag, whatever you want to call it. I think this one is so, so cute and I will have it linked in the description box below. You can also screenshot this and that way when you place an order, if you're wanting one like just like this with like the colors and everything, then you can include that with your notes to the Etsy seller and then she can do it this way or if you want different colors she was super awesome to let me customize whatever shades and things that I wanted so you can do that and even like picking the ribbon you can request a certain ribbon there's no guarantees but you can definitely make requests but I think it is so so cute and just kind of gives that extra little flair to the stroller and then coming down into the basket of the stroller we just kept our diaper bag here a lot of the time if it it wasn't here on this hook. It lived in the basket of the stroller, which was super handy and easy to get to. But then here in the back, we have both of the girls' rain covers for their seats. So we have those just in case and they're ready to go pop on for those little Florida rain showers. And then I also kept this reusable shopping bag that we had got on a previous trip. It folds out pretty big. It is, I think, the medium size that they sell at Disney World if you're wanting to get one like this. But you can pick those up at any of the gift shops and they this is super handy that way anything that just was random in the stroller that ended up getting tossed in there or whatever when we needed to get on the bus this was really handy to be able to just toss all of that stuff in there and it be in a bag or anything we purchased during the day we could just toss it into this and keep it in the stroller and then everything has a handle so it makes getting everything out to get on the bus a lot easier and then in the front part of the basket we kept this cooler back obviously and it's empty now but it was chocked full of waters so we like to take bottled water I just have this shop Disney little cooler bag that we got a while back and absolutely love it so we use it all the time when we go to Disney World it is like I said full of water bottles snacks juice just all the things that you need for the day. And so that helps to save a lot of money. So we like to use that. And then last but not least, we have this little large Vera Bradley cosmetic bag. This print is an old Disney print that they used to sell, but they have lots of cute ones that are still available. But it has the handle on the end, which is perfect for grabbing and going to the changing stations, either at the baby care center, the, the bathrooms, whatever you need to do. But let's pop it open and I'll show you what we keep inside of it. So this is what it looks like right now. We tried to keep this as full of diapers and wipes as we possibly could. I put an entire pack of our baby wipes in there as well as some disposable changing pads. And then on one side I kept a bunch of Bella's diapers. The other side I kept a bunch of Lucy's diapers as well as a swim diaper. That way if she wanted to play in any of the splash pads or anything that we come across, the little water features in Disney World, then we had something that we could change her into and she wasn't getting her park clothes wet. And then I also kept this little rash guard in there as well. I used to keep this in my diaper bag, but now I keep it in here and it makes it so much simpler so we have that that we just kind of tuck in here so she can put on her rash guard she can put on her swim diaper and she is all set to play in the water also that's a great time to get ice cream by the way because then they just rinse off in the water so yeah rabbit trail but we also kept these little poop bags in there dirty diaper bags and then some butt cream booty cream and then a little baby travel spatula and so all of that was easy and this was perfect because like I said with the handle you can just grab and go and it's one bag and you're not having to take the entire diaper bag with you to the changing table. My biggest tip for your Disney stroller is to put things back when you use them. 
put it back exactly where you got it because then you're not looking for it and you're not scrambling and like, wait a minute, I thought I put that here. I could have swore I put it here and because you're tired and your brain is not thinking properly and so you go into panic mode and I've lost this thing, oh my goodness. I'm telling you this because we've done it before, but it is such a hard little routine to get into, but if you can put it back exactly where you got it, whether it's the, the wipes or the diaper or whatever it is that you need to put back in your stroller, your fan, your charger for your phones, whatever the case is, put it back. So if you learn anything from this tip, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. <laughs> and my other tip is to pre-set up your stroller before you go. Don't wait until you've got to your Disney resort to put everything together and set it up and all of that. Try it out at home and then just put it all, pack it all up in a, one bag or something that you can take with you and know once you get to Florida, okay, I can unpack and just set everything up easily. But definitely practice at home. That way you know exactly where you want everything. And like for myself, before we go to Disney, about a week before I like to set the stroller up exactly like we're going to be in the parks and that way if I'm out running errands getting groceries going to the park whatever we're doing then I can kind of practice with that and know my setup and be familiar with it and know exactly where things are and so that just makes things a little bit easier so it's a good thing now you don't have to take your your cooler bag with all of your water or even the little diaper caddy but just knowing like okay do I want the hook here or would it be more convenient to have it somewhere else that sort of thing it just play around with it and have some fun and it also just kind of gets you excited for your trip because you know you're decking your stroller out for Disney World. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the tripod so I can show you how exactly we folded this up and getting it on and off of buses. So. Let's jump into that. When we would roll it to the bus stop, I was in charge of the girls and the diaper bag, and Dean was in charge of the stroller. So he is not with me at the moment. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of what we did and how he gets it on and off of the buses, and just a few of our little tips and tricks for that one. Once we would get there, I would go ahead and grab the diaper bag and toss it on my back, and then grab our littlest one, Bella, and then take Lucy by the hand, and so I would have both girls and get them on and off of the buses, and then Dean would take care of the rest and so what he would do is take the cooler bag and since this one has a crossbody strap he would toss it on which makes it super easy so if you're looking for one like this make sure it has some sort of strap that's not just a shoulder strap so it's not falling off of your arm while you're trying to lug the stroller so this just makes it a little bit easier so grab that and a lot of times we would also use this bag so we would pop that out and put the diaper caddy into this so it has something to go in or if we had purchased anything already anything extra that was in the basket would go into this part here and so it was all set and he could just put it on his shoulder and then grab the stroller and then if you have your Epo baby vista then you can just simply fold it in half and you are good to go there and then if you don't engage the brake, you can just tilt the stroller and be able to roll it. So as you're standing in line, as you're getting a little closer, you don't have to be lugging it and carrying the heavy stroller through the line. You can just simply roll it and cruise along. And then once we got closer, he would just pick it up and put it on the bus. So it worked absolutely beautifully to do that. And then when you get there, you just pop it open. And I don't do it near as good as Dean does, but you just give it a little sling. You're back in business, you put your bags back in the stroller and you are ready for your day at the Disney Park. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are interested in any of the products that you saw, I will have all of them linked in the description box for your shopping pleasures. They are commissionable links, so I do make a very small commission off of those, but it doesn't cost you any extra to use those. So you can scroll down and check those out. If you did enjoy the video, then please hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps to support the channel. As well as if you're new here and you like motherhood content and a little bit of Disney magic sprinkled in along the way, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button we would love to have you join our internet fam and see you around in future videos. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching again. Bye!